In the garden this morning, we may have had a rainy start to the day, but things are brightening up, we hope, thanks to some sunflowers right from the field between South Main and South Water Streets in Providence, where, of course, the old 195 was located. We all remember that. Well, here this morning to tell us all about the project 10,000 Suns is landscape architect and RISD adjunct professor Adam Anderson. Good morning, Adam. Good morning. Great to have you here with us. We were chatting earlier about this project, sort of the genesis, the origin of it. Tell the people out there how you decided to make this happen, you know, from its nascent stages right up until now. Yeah. So, actually, last year I planted a thousand sunflowers along the, along the riverside. And um, of that a thousand, only a couple sort of made it to their, to their final days, um, just for people picking them, getting mowed down by maintenance and things. So, I, I wanted a sort of a a bigger venue to make this happen in a bigger way, so I decided to do uh, 10,000. And as a way to really, um, through landscape, to activate that space and, and begin to get people to think about a, uh, a sort of uh, re-envision possibilities for, for what can happen for it. Well, now, go going back to what you said there a moment ago, was that discouraging for you when only, you know, X amount of them made it, or does that mean that you need to reassess and find out, okay, what's going to work better here? Yeah, um, you know, I, I think I really wanted to, it, certainly a, a lawn for several years is, uh, and as a landscape architect, seems like it could be used for, you know, something bigger. Sure. And talk about who really made this all happen, yeah. with whom you're working and who's really helping yeah. to facilitate this. So I, uh, uh, you know, sought out permission from the 195 Commission. Um, and so I gave them some ambitious drawings and they were happy to see, see, the, uh, see it happen. And um, uh, myself and uh, a larger uh, team of volunteers um, a few from the beginning and a few throughout the extents. Well, we're seeing some pictures here and it really is remarkable. And when you first saw that that space had become available, when you saw that it was there, was this something that sort of resonated in your own mind, maybe germinated, if you will, excuse the uh, pun there. Is that something you thought might work right there or did it just come to you organically mm, later? It came very, very quickly. Uh, you know, the, the sunflowers and a s sort of amazing plant. And I call it a botanical performance because this can happen in a summer. Sure. Um, so, uh, you know, it was really, um, you know, uh, myself and the team and, and people watching us out there do something is really part of the performance itself. And seeing the photos, it really is terrific. And talk about community response, you know, overall and certainly moving forward with this. I'd imagine it's very positive. It's really, it's really unbelievable how, how uh, you know, just comments of it just made people happy to see it and to see people doing something there and um, it's it's hard to not like a sunflower. Well that's uh, absolutely yeah. yeah hashtag it's hard not to like sunflowers. I think you've yeah. just hit on something there. That's terrific. Right. Well thank yeah. you very much for dropping by yeah. and sharing this story with us and best of luck moving right. forward. My pleasure. Thank All you. right Adam we appreciate you being here. Be sure to check out the sunflowers in Providence. It's great stuff of course while they still are in full bloom.